Just kidding, okay. So I am tired, I do not wanna cook, but if I'm kind of feeling like I can cook, we're gonna get this recipe done in 15 minutes. It's so easy. I can probably make it if I were unconscious. But from a very real sense, if I didn't want to cook, we would be making ramen with a fried egg and some sriracha. This is for the people that have a little bit of energy but still want a nice lazy girl meal that will be com that we will be that will be cooked up and ready to go in 15 minutes or less, depending on how quickly we're cooking. So let's get started. So we'll be making egg roll in a bowl. This is one of my favorite meals just because it's so easy. It's delicious and you really can't go wrong with it. You can substitute out so many things. So the thing that's gonna take us the longest is the rice. So we're already, start the timer, we're already struggling. Oh, there, there we go. Okay, so you are allowed to put however much rice you like. I typically like to do like one to one and a half cups of dry rice and white rice, obviously. This is an Asian household. Okay, we have our rice, beautiful. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash our rice. So I'm just going to fill it up with water, swirl it around, dump it out until it's mostly clear. So let's do that. Look how ugly this is, can you see it? Look how gross that is. All right, and now we're gonna add our water to cook it in. The Asian method that I understand that I've learned from my fellow Asians online is you take the tip of your finger, imagine it like this, down into the rice and from the top of the rice layer, it's a little bit under your first little, all right. Come on. Under that first little notch right here, that's how much you fill it up to. I could be wrong. All right, let's put her in. All right, we have our rice cooker. We're just gonna put her in. Oh my gosh. Everyone relax. And then we just hit our power and white rice. Well, Step one complete. This will probably take 18 minutes. This is gonna be the longest part, honestly, so let's set her aside. Next part of this piece is we're gonna cook our meat, so let's do it. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Okay, so take a nice little saucepan. We're gonna throw in maybe like a tablespoon ish of olive oil. I have the recipe on my website. I will include it in the bio if you'd like to follow that for some more specifics. We're gonna heat up our olive oil. Make sure that olive oil is evenly coating the bottom of the pan to the best of our ability. Okay, and now we're gonna cook our meat. I use turkey. I've also done it with beef. That works just as well. Any type of like ground meat will work. And if I could cut this. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Oh wait, I forgot a step. All right, oh my gosh. Step two, we're already messing up. Before the meat, we cook our garlic. I think it's about two and a half tablespoons. It comes out to like five cloves-ish. I just use this like 
easy to use garlic because one, we're a big convenience household. Two, I just don't feel like I'm at a part in my life or a time in my life where I can manage fresh garlic, you know? And we're just gonna eyeball this. Of course you can measure it, but I am a garlic fiend, so we're gonna add quite a bit. And we're just gonna mix her around in the pan. She is getting nice and cooked. We're gonna turn down this heat because it's getting a little bit too crazy for me. And now we're gonna add in our meat. Normally this comes out a little bit easier. <gasps> we, we, ooh. oh my gosh, abort mission, abort mission. All right, you don't want this in there. I am very much a level one chef, so everyone makes mistakes. And all we're gonna do is break up our meat. We're just gonna break this all up in pieces. Catch you once I've done it. We're done with that. Actually, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave. I I don't have anything of interest to say. All right, while we let this simmer and it's broken up for the most part, we're gonna go work on our sauce. So, alrighty, the sauce is super simple and honestly follows the formula for a lot of stir fry sauces. For the sake of this, I will measure. I typically just eyeball it. You can really kind of adjust it however you like to your personal preferences, but this is just works with best for me. So first we're gonna start off with half a cup of soy sauce. I do reduced sodium soy sauce just cause got a family history of hypertension and I'm also just an anxious person. So we're trying to manage that blood pressure. But you can use whatever soy sauce your heart desires or you could do probably um, coconut aminos. I don't know how that tastes though. All right, half a cup. Interesting story though, this recipe, actually a YouTube short I made, was my first ever viral video. Actually, I don't know if I say ever. Definitely on YouTube, so a lot of you are originally here for this, so there you go. Next, we're gonna do equal parts of sesame seed oil and rice vinegar, two tablespoons of each. This stuff is like liquid gold. It's so expensive, but also so good. One, two. Okay, on an old video of mine, hold on. Actually in one of, in the Percy Jackson video I did, I am quite positive that I miss, I measured something incorrectly, so now, we will be saying it out loud because I tend to start talking and I distract myself and then it's a mess. And then you get pancakes that are a little bit spooky. We need to go two tablespoons of our rice vinegar. One, two, yay, we can count. And then the last piece is I have my little recipe on hand because, like I said, I just kind of make it up at this point, but I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the most accurate picture of what's going on. Also, like I said, link in bio for the full recipe. We're gonna do one teaspoon of ground ginger. It smells so good. Delish. And then the last ingredient I got this at Jewel just because it was so hard to find. Is Chinese Five Blend, Chinese Five Spice Blend. We're gonna do half a teaspoon of it, and then we're done. How easy is that? So easy. And all you gotta do left is whisk. Actually, something we might do. I'm going off the rails. This is not in the recipes. We might add a little cornstarch, just because that helps thicken up the sauce a little bit. So we're gonna add a little bit. Just a little bit, like a very light sprinkle. 
I'll show you guys how much. It's not like that much, you know? It's that white stuff. And now we whisk. And of course, mini whisks make everything better, so. Voila. Easy. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear the turkey over there, but it is sizzling. So let's, let's get back to it. I also forgot to note, this was one pound of ground turkey, so. She's nice and cooked. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. We're gonna add in our veg, cause this is a very pro fiber household. So this is where, once again, convenience plays a huge part here. So I got this like dry coleslaw mix. You can do broccoli slaw, you can do any type of slaw that you want. Come on. We're just gonna throw it in. Really just whatever tickles your pickle. Let's forget I ever said that. And then she goes. That's it. Now we'll just mix her in. I like to mix this in until all the meat and the veggies are kind of well incorporated. And then I'll let this cook on like low to medium heat just for all the veggies to cook down. And as Cassie from TikTok says, love her and leave her alone. So honestly, you can cook the vegetables however long you like. I kind of like them on the crispier side, so I think we're gonna we're gonna tap out right now. This is kind of where it's at. Yum. And our last step is to add the sauce. So another round of whisking just to make sure all that cornstarch and whatnot is mixed in. And then we're just gonna pour it over. and make sure we don't miss anything. And now we mix. You wanna make sure as much is covered as possible so you can make the most out of your sauce. She's beautiful, look at her. Turns out I'm cooking a little bit quicker than the rice is. We got five more minutes left on the rice, so we're gonna turn this heat down, put it on low. I'm gonna put away everything we just used, and we're gonna get ready for plating. So how is everyone's day? Mine's pretty good. We're gonna watch some Purdue basketball later, and I might lose 10 years off my life, but you know. The life of a fan. Yes. Keep warm. Yay. All right. Let's get some bowls. Are you ready for this? This is always so fun. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. <gasps> oh, wow. We're going to stir up. Make sure she's nice and fluffed. Beautiful, show-stopping, gorgeous. Now we plate. Put on as much white rice as your little heart desires. My little heart desires a lot. Beautiful. It's time for our next step. All right, now the main attraction. I'm gonna add a nice, healthy serving on top. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Wait, how am I this way? We're gonna add a little bit more. Beautiful. I kind of want where's that one really big piece of vegetable I saw? I don't think I want that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. So far, beautiful. And the Final touches. Let's head on over to our sauce station for final touches. Why do we make these noises? All right, everyone relax. So, this 
So anyway, we're gonna add some sriracha. Not too much so, I've been having some tummy troubles, so we'll go a little light on the sriracha. And then for final touches, we're gonna add some sesame seeds. Other options, you could add like, I typically do green onions. I forgot to buy green onions, so here we are. But voila, just look at her, she's so perfect. Let's taste test this. Yum. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You have to try this. Ooh. You have very sriracha spot. Please try this. Let, let me know what you think. I post a lot of my food on Instagram, so definitely be follow, able to follow me on Instagram. If you struggle to find the Chinese five slice, I found it on Amazon. I'll link that here as well and in the bio. This was fun. Definitely try it out. It's so easy. You probably won't have as many issues as I had because I'm just a clumsy person, but enjoy like this video if you want more i'm a big lazy girl advocate especially when it comes to cooking and we'll catch you next time bye guys